Well, look, the beauty with fresh water is that it is an all-round all year round fishery so you, you people there's this perception that's been around for a long time that you can only catch fish in fresh water in summertime and that's for your trolling bait fishing all that sort of stuff and that's fine but if you were going to go into to fresh water fishing and in winter time there's nothing better than sitting around a campfire in the middle of winter it's not stinking hot you don't have to get up the thing is with fresh water in winter time you don't have to get up at five o'clock in the morning you can go out fishing at nine o'clock it makes no difference but there's a couple of little key things that you really must have a look at winter time those fish tend to look they're water sensitive as in temperature sensitive so they will go down and sit in deeper water they'll find where they feel comfortable where the water is staying consistently the same temperature whether that be 15 16 10 5 whatever it's wherever they see feel more comfortable so they get away from those banks because the banks are, are changing nighttime it gets cold the water gets cold summertime in daytime they get warmer it changes all the time so they'll go confident beauty is to find yourself a really good sounder or not a really good but a sounder that's half deep that you can see those fish. Those fish will go there and go sit on the bottom. And a, a great technique for catching fish in winter time is an ice jig. This is why we run, all the bass tournaments are run in winter because the fishing is better. They're, they're not affected by the heat. They're fat as fools and they go like freight trains. It's absolutely awesome. So what you do is you drive out, you look on your sounder and you'll find where those fish are sitting hard on the bottom. And what you, and what you typically you can do, you can do this with a, a bait caster. You can do it with a spin reel as well. It is a bit easier. I find it easier with a bait caster, but some people use a spin. What you do is you get this here. This is called a smack ice stick and what that does is that sits on the bottom when you're sitting in on the bottom you drop it to straight down underneath your boat sits on the bottom and with that tail what it does is it jumps around acts like a little bait fish a little shrimp but what it does is just annoys the hell out of them and after a while they have to bite it so what you do free spool your line down to the bottom wait till it hits the bottom and then just with slow lifts with the rod nice and steady anyone can do it beauty of this you can have a six-year-old kid do this it, you, it's not to be full on technical it is, but you will still catch fish. Drop it to the bottom, bang, bang, bang. Give it 10 or 15 minutes, you'll start seeing the fish come around. And the other thing is, is you can just move. You can move five meters, six meters, because those fish, they will move. They don't come and chase the lure. So you need to be on top of them. Once you find them, give it a, give a spot five or 10 minutes that doesn't work. You might move only five or six meters. Move five or six meters, drop the anchor back down or use your electric motor, Minn Kota, whatever you want to use. Position yourself over those fish, drop it down. And when they're on, there's nothing to catch. Honestly, you could catch a hundred fish in a session. It is just, they are getting feeding frenzies and it is absolutely awesome. It's great fun. You'll be able to check footage out, you know, I'm sure on YouTube and stuff like that and look at them. And that's the beauty with Bajelki and Bandoomba. We can do that in winter time. Doesn't cost a lot of money. You know, these lures retail for around about, you know, anywhere from $14 to about 16 bucks you could buy two of those and that one lure on a weekend could catch you a hundred fish what more do you want and the kids can do it the missus can do it anyone can do it so when you when you're feeling when you're ice jigging you're dropping it down the bottom and you're jigging it like that just nice little don't go too aggressive it's not about aggressive these fish it's cold they're just more they're sitting in a situation so we're trying to annoy them we're trying to get them to eat it so just nice little jigs a lot of times you'll get them where they'll tap it and then they'll come, especially with the ice jig, they might, because it's diving around like this, a lot of times you know, they might get it, and especially yellows will knock it first before they eat it. With the bass, sometimes they just, you would think with a lure with three hooks on that they miss it, but they can. So you got to keep doing it. Don't strike. Keep doing it. And then when you feel the weight, that's when you can go on. Because the beauty of the way these are designed with an ice jig is once, especially with this swing and hook, this, is, this was designed by us because when we used to do, we do a lot of bait fishing for chasing yellows and bass that is the best hook to get a best hook up rate on a bass or a yellow so to me it was a perfect idea why not do the same hook on an ice jig that way when it hooks it it's going to stay hooked it gets in the corner of the mouth and stays well connected a treble they can pull in each way and actually end up pulling them out for the hook fights against each other but because of the way they the hook a lot of times you'll find hooked by that one or by that one so then it's just that slow bang bang oh there's a tap keep strike don't strike at him keep going and that fish will hook themselves and then it's a matter of winding up and that's the beauty with taking the missus and the kids and your mates and whatever fishing is it's not that super technical you just keep telling them to do that and once they've got on yep i'm on then you can lift them wind and wind it up and that's the beauty of those lures